Hello everybody and welcome to my new Allegro series. In this series, um, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make a game. I will show you how to make a lot of games but the majority of people voted for me to make a shooter and a platformer. So I've decided to do what to do is to create a platformer with shooting in it so you get both. Now the game I'm showing you how to make is just a prototype. The enemy movements and player actions and levels may not be as you envisioned, but the whole purpose of these videos I'm going to make is to show you how to create a game of your choice. Then you should be able to add in the little extras like power ups and such. Since, um, yeah, and such, sorry. Since it's a prototype, I will not be using any graphics from other websites. I will just be using the squares and circles and, um, the other stuff built into Allegro. The reason being is that I don't want to take away the, from the purpose of these videos and people may have conflicts with certain graphics and such so I'd rather not do that yet. Basically by the end of the project you will have a square that can jump on the platforms and you can go onto the other side of the level to beat it. It's going to be really simple. There will be shooting and I might add in a, a few power ups and wall jumping and such. Anyways I've talked enough now so it's time to get started. In this part of the tutorial, I will be setting up our game environment with the frames per second and initialization. I should know before I start that if you do not know at least the basics of C++, then you shouldn't be watching this video. If you have to have a basic knowledge of classes and other stuff, I will not be using advanced topics such as inheritance or polymorphism, but I will be using classes. I will not explain classes that much because you should already know them before watching this tutorial. This is as basic as it gets, so anyways let's get into it. So open up your compiler and let's start coding. So once you open up your compiler, open a Win32 project and uh, make sure you set it to empty project, add a source file and make sure it's main.cpp. Now before we do any coding, let's go to the project folder, the properties, uh, wait for the open, we go to our linker, then our input. Then we go to additional dependencies and click the arrow and we click edit and we add alleged.lib ok ok and now it's set up with the linker We're using a different compiler then you have to figure out how to do that on your own um, or you can inbox me or something if you don't know how to do it if you haven't watched my um, tutorials my early tutorials and the other lego series then watch them before you watch this so anyways let's get started so initialize legero.h uh, people like to use using namespace.std uh, I'm not a fan of using the std namespace uh, there's reasons why you shouldn't do it but I'm not going to get into detail with that use it if you want to you don't have to if you don't want to we're probably not even going to be using it that much so it doesn't really matter so before we start anything we have to start our frames per second so let's put volatile long and, and name it counter and if you didn't watch my frames per second video then you probably should watch it before you continue on with this tutorial so we're going to make a function increment and we're going to increment the counter by one simple as pi so now comes our main function and basic allegro initialization so allegro net install the keyboard code I'm using the keyboard install the sound I don't know if we're going to be putting this down but install it for now anyways because sound is easy enough I think you could add that on by yourself but I may just add it and capital A and set the color depth and I want to set mine to 32 it doesn't matter what you set yours to and set GFX mode so we're gonna make it windowed we don't want a full screen at least not yet and in this tutorial I want 800 by 600 so we have a bigger game screen and now we have to lock our variable just like in my other tutorial and just call counter and now we have to lock the function 
and it's called increment and now we have to install the timer so install int underscore ex so increment oh I'm sorry I messed up here so we put the name of the function in here and then bps2 timer so that 200 and that's done so now we have to create our bitmap call it buffer and then create bitmap let's make it 6000 by 600 now you may be asking why am I doing this well it's going to be a side scroller we're not going to do vertical scrolling it's going to be a side scroller now you know the screen size is 800 by 600 so I made it the height 600 because we're not vertical scrolling or anything but I made this the buffer bigger than the actual screen size so then we can actually scroll throughout the buffer so if you've watched my tutorials you know what I'm talking about now we're gonna set done to false now we're gonna create a game loop so let me scroll down here a bit more so as you guys know we have to put not uh, set if done is false then do whatever and inside this we have to put if counter is greater than zero and decrement the counter by one and it's always good to keep comments in your program so you remind yourself of stuff so put these comments input update and draw this is where we're gonna put the input so like character movement like the keyboard this is where we're gonna actually update the movement and this is where we're gonna draw it's always good to section off these point um these portions when you're making a game so anyways we got that set up so since we have the input section let's put if key is key escape then we close the window and sorry set done equals true and yep this program should be good and don't forget to put end of main and let's run this to see if it actually works and sorry if you hear it buzzing in the background just my laptop's really loud sorry for that okay and then now we got a blank screen and we click escape and it closes so now we have the frames per second and initialization set up so this is a real boring tutorial I know but next we're going to be creating the player class we're not just going to be creating the player inside main we're actually going to be creating a player class and doing everything from gravity to movement to velocity and everything the, all the important stuff to make this game amazing so i hope you liked this tutorial uh... thanks for watching tell all your friends to watch it and yeah we're on the steps to making an amazing platformer so Let's go practice hard. Thanks for watching and bye.